Hey guys, I'm RJ Ambricks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be building the first part of six part mock I made, which is the village in the castle ruins. This is a project idea on Lego ideas, so make sure you go support that one. Uh, hoping for that 10k this time, we'll see. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. I named this one the village in the castle ruins because I wanted to do a medieval build, but I also didn't want to build just a plain old castle because plenty of people have done that. I wanted to do something more out of the ordinary. So what I did is I built a castle ruins and then built some town structures like a bakery, a farm, different things like that inside of it. I kind of made a whole storyline for this one just because I wanted it to be really structured and have a really strong idea behind it. So if you want to know what that story is, it's on the Lego Ideas write-up, so make sure you go check that out. But basically, it's just some people in medieval times didn't have anywhere to live, and they come upon this old ruined castle, and they decide to build there, and it becomes this. I built this in a very abnormal way, and I just did that because for a YouTube video, this whole mock would be really, really long if I was going to do the building it style. So what I did instead is I broke it up into six parts. You can see there's the Technic pins and the beams in there, and that's how they connect. There's four main ones that are surrounded by castle wall, and then one on the outside, and then a little corner piece that kind of makes the whole build look a lot better. And I just wanted to do this because that way I could break it up for each video. This video is part of a series, the first video of this mock building series, and I'm going to build one part in each video, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. But this mock, um, I'm building the farm section here, and it's got a little farm shed with a bed in it. I, I made it with these corner tiles that are like half a two by two tile. I don't have very many of them and I really wanted to incorporate them in this build and so I used them as the blanket just to make it look like he was poor and didn't have much bedding. There's also like a table or a chair and then like a little round mirror or something like that. Even though he's poor he just has something on the walls for decoration. On the side I used orange three pointed leaf parts. I really love those pieces and so I just needed to add that bright detail to the side of the building. There's also some broken down wall which surrounds the whole castle, but this wall for the farm is a little bit different than the rest. The All the other sides have like a dark gray line that merges into light gray, but for this one I kind of blended both. I pictured it as maybe a newer wall that was built before the castle was destroyed, Maybe part of it was destroyed and then they rebuild this part, but it ended up getting destroyed again. So it just looks a little different. And then there's two crops. I really don't know wh what they are because they're just two crop Lego pieces. Nothing specific, but just something you might see in a real life farm or something that would look like that. Even though this mock does break up into all these different parts, I didn't want it to look like that. So I added a pathway throughout the whole build of two by two round brown plates and then some smaller gray ones and it just kind of blends it all together along with the sides of the castle blending together. Many figures are included in this one. I added some to go along with each chunk just to make it look more like a set. Each middle chunk is a 14 by 14 stud square and then there's a one brick deepness in between the two 14 by 14 different plate levels and in that in the centers there are the pinhole areas and then on the outside it's just a filled in with normal gray. Some of you have probably noticed I'm doing this video a bit different than I normally do and I think I'm kind of going to start doing this style of video most of the time where I just kind of commentate as much as there is to talk about about the mock and about whatever I'm building and then once I talk about everything it'll just be kind of like my normal tutorials and if you guys like this style of video make sure you comment give me your feedback what you what you think about it other ideas but that's it from me for now and enjoy the rest of the video oh and don't forget to like and subscribe that'd be great thanks mm -hmm. 